Hello, my name is Simon Goldberg and I am a Blockchain Specialist Solutions Architect at AWS. In this video, I will show you how to use Amazon Managed Blockchain Query to retrieve current and historical balances for a specific token from blockchain networks such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let's get started. Amazon Managed Blockchain Query, or AMB Query for short, provides developer-friendly APIs to seamlessly retrieve real-time and historical data from multiple public blockchains. With AMB Query, you can more quickly deploy applications that require data from various public blockchains without the overhead of parsing data, managing indexing infrastructure, or tracing smart contracts. AMB Query simplifies the process of fetching blockchain information such as current and historical token balances. The Get Token Balance API allows you to retrieve a specific token's balance for a given wallet address. It enables several use cases such as token-gated access or displaying balances on the user interface of your application. The Get Asset Contract API allows you to retrieve information about a specific contract deployed on the blockchain, such as a token's name and symbol. Before we go over a code example, let's first go over the prerequisite steps. If you would like to follow along with this example, make sure that you have Python installed on your machine. Additionally, install the latest BO23 release via pip. You also need to install the AWS command line interface. After it is installed, you can set it up by running the AWS configure command to define the credentials and region for your IAM user. Make sure that this IAM user has the necessary permissions for AMB query. This Python example uses BO23 to interact with AMB query. The Get Token Balance API fetches the historical balance of a specified token for a particular wallet address at a given point in time. Additionally, the Get Asset Contract API is used to obtain relevant token metadata like the decimals attribute, which is essential for balance computation. To use BO23, you must first import it and indicate which service you are going to use. After you have created a managed blockchain query resource, you can specify the APIs that you want to call and pass in the relevant parameters. I have additionally parsed the output from these APIs into a more easy to read format. Let's take a look at what the output of this code is. As you can see, this code has returned the token name, symbol, contract address, the owner of the token, and relevant historical balance information. In this second code example, I will be retrieving the current balance for a given Bitcoin address. Like the previous example, I have formatted the output into a more easy to read format. Let's run this code and see what the output looks like. As you can see, AMB Query has fetched the current Bitcoin balance for this given wallet address. You can also see the time that the balance was last updated. In conclusion, AMB Query's Git Token Balance and Git Asset Contract APIs are a powerful tool for any developer working with blockchain data. AMB Query handles the intricate processes required to retrieve data from various public blockchain networks. That is all for today's video. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of how AMB Query can be utilized to retrieve current and historical balances for a specific token. If you are interested in learning more about AMB Query, please refer to the links in the description. Thank you once again, and happy development.